Hi, I am Professor Orion and I will be your facilitator for the Orion Learning Airside Safety Awareness Program along with Professor Learning. Hi everyone, I am Professor Learning. Welcome aboard this journey in your pursuit to learn more about Airside Safety Program. As part of this course, we shall learn the airport environment terminology and layouts personal protective equipment, aircraft turnaround, airside driving, aircraft fueling, airside hazards, accidents and incidents on the airside area, airside emergencies and procedures. Let us now begin with Module 1, the Airport Environment, Terminology and Layouts. In this module, we shall cover Parts of the airport, aircraft terminology, equipments. It is most important that we understand the airport environment. An airport is divided into three parts land side, terminal, air side. Land side areas include parking lots, public transportation, and access roads. Terminal areas include check in counters security hold, duty-free shopping and departure gates. Airside includes all areas accessible to the aircraft for example runways, taxiways, ramps, apron, aircraft parking bay, equipment areas. Let's now look at the areas of the airside in a little more detail. The runway is a defined area of the airport which is used for takeoff and landing of the aircraft. The taxiway is a path which connects the runway to the apron, hangar and other facilities on the airside and is used for the surface movement of aircraft. The apron, commonly known as the ramp, is that part of an airport which is used for parking of aircrafts embarking and disembarking of passengers, loading and unloading of baggage and refueling of the aircraft. The aircraft parking bay is that area on the apron on which an aircraft is parked during ground halt. It is also the area where the aircraft is serviced and refueled. Passengers embark and disembark from the aircraft and cargo or baggage is loaded and unloaded. Now, let's take a look at some of the aircraft terminology. Starboard and port navigation light, anti-collision light, fuel vent, engine numbers, nose wheel, door numbers, undercarriage, APU, auxiliary power unit. Let us now take a look at the parking bay of an aircraft. Once an aircraft is parked, there are certain precautions that need to be kept in mind. Let's take a look at some of these precautions. One of the precautions is circle of safety. The term circle of safety refers to an imaginary invisible circle which typically extends for 5 meters around the aircraft. Inside this circle, an inner zone covers the fuselage and engine areas with a 2 meter safety zone. All equipment approaching the circle of safety must be driven at a walking pace, that is, less than 5 kilometers per hour. Let's take a look at another area within the aircraft parking bay. The Equipment Restraint Area or ERA is an enclosed area on the aircraft parking bay defined by a continuous red line within which no vehicles must be parked or driven immediately before and during the parking of aircraft. The equipment restraint area must be clear of any vehicle or equipment during aircraft movement into or out of the bay. During the servicing of the aircraft, 
all equipments are to keep within the area formed by the equipment restraint line. All equipment should be made ready to be removed from ERA within 15 minutes of aircraft departure. All other vehicles and equipment which are not attending to the aircraft should be kept clear of the area and held at the designated Equipment Staging Area or ESA. The Equipment Staging Area is an area where airlines and ground handling agents can park their equipments and vehicles before arrival of aircraft. A large number of equipments are used during the servicing of the aircraft. Let's take a look at some of these equipments. Conveyor belt is the equipment used for bulk loading of baggage and cargo inside the aircraft. Catering high lift is the equipment used for loading catering supplies into the aircraft. Unit load device or ULDs are units used for loading baggage and cargo inside a wide body aircraft. High or low loader and cargo lifts are the equipments used for loading ULDs carrying baggage and cargo inside the aircraft. Ground power unit or GPU is the equipment used to generate electrical power while the aircraft is on ground or during night halt. Air starter unit or ASU is the equipment used as a power source to provide the initial rotation to start aircraft engines. Air conditioning unit or ACU is the equipment used for cooling or heating the passenger cabin air when the aircraft is on ground. This brings us to the end of the first module where we have learned parts of the airport, aircraft terminology, types of ground equipment. Thank you.